Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a second look using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. So today I wanted to use more of the natural colors, neutral colors, not natural, more of the neutral colors. I did start out very similar with the transition as far as my first video using this palette. So in the first video I used these three no, these four. And so this look, I actually started out using these four also. But I switched it up using Sweetener, Donor, and Intravena. So we've got a second look out of this palette. In the end of the video, you're going to see I have a very light lip. Very peachy with some gold. And so you'll see what that color combination looks like with a more nude lip. And then I went ahead and went over with more of a mulberry color since it kind of picks up a little bit of the purplish colors here and what i used was the Too faced drunk dial this is a beautiful color i love the way that these um, smell and sit on the lip so i wanted to give two different lip looks with this eye look so you're gonna see as you watch the video, the lip will not be the same whatsoever, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a, this would be more of an evening look with the lip, and then you'll see more of a daytime look with the lip. So hopefully that'll help you make some decisions there. Again, I love this palette. I'm having an absolute blast with it. I'm looking forward to maybe doing more of the fuchsia and purple here. I still want to do something with the red here, I love this color candy floss so you know again there's just so many different color combinations this blood sugar is got a bit of a metallic look to it so I'm sure there's gonna be something here I may have to put my Jeffree Star looks on a different day than I already released because instead of three days I may have to do a fourth just to incorporate a little bit uh, more of this palette because this palette is a lot of fun it's not really all that expensive for a high-end palette considering what you get both in pan size and pigmentation because the pigmentation in this palette is off the hook you just have to be prepared for fallout and I noticed today since I used more of the browns or the neutral colors that I didn't have as much fallout for some reason. So I'm not sure what the difference might be, or maybe just the fallout was more noticeable with the, the red um, and the purplish color. That I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm, I bet you I will become very sure as I continue to use this palette with different looks to see is it just, is the formula slightly different or is it just the color that the color really makes you see that there is a difference in fallout but my table doesn't look as bad as it did the other day when i was doing a lot of the pinks and fuchsias so i don't know i'll just have to keep playing with it to find out but if you want to see how i created this look using two different lip styles stay all right tuned. we're going to try to do a second look with this blood sugar palette and you know that makes me very excited and if you didn't know now you do know <laughs> look at this little box of jewels that's what it feels like it feels like I'm opening with these little levers a box of jewels ah, and the clouds part and the sunray comes right in okay so I do want to use a bit more of I want to say the neutrals mm -hmm. I think that's the direction we're gonna go so we're gonna pull some sugar cane, and I forgot my towel. So the sugar cane is gonna go up and be my transition color. That sugar cane might be my new favorite transition color. It's just kind of fun. It's nude, but it's got just a hint of maybe a mauve-ish or a pinkish color. I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. I like it a lot. Then we're gonna go in with the color cake mix. Still gonna be a bit of our transition color. So I've kinda got two transition shades going on. Again, I've got a lot of real estate up here, so I'm finding that sometimes that just helps. 
that's all I'm saying. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with the color Ouch. I'm gonna pick up this color here called Intravenous. And that Intravenous is kind of a fun brown. It's, it's got a bit of a plum in it, which is why I said it's kind of fun. And who doesn't like fun? I've used the same brush kind of as I keep building up, but I'm going to go ahead and get a new brush and I'm going to pick back up, I think, the color Cake Mix and soften those edges there. And really, I probably should have used a blender brush first. So let's get a nice fluffy brush. This is a Morphe E61. I don't think it's a blender brush, but I love it because it's so big that I feel like it's a good blender brush. Okay, that softened it quite a bit. So it still gives kind of a, I don't want to say cranberry, but definitely a mulberry purplish brown look, which is pretty. Come on now, it's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my little eyes. And I think I've got the ochre. I do have the soft ochre pot. I went up a little bit higher. Yesterday I did some yellows and I didn't go as high and you know the more I looked at that look I felt like it made my eye look squattier not that the yellow look ended up coming out the best my husband said it's not growing on me which means I don't like it but you don't know unless you try okay so now I want to pick up this pretty color here called sweetener some peaches but I don't think that's quite enough so I'm gonna go in using donor the peach ends up going right into kind of the bronze and those are very complementary of each other they don't they look further apart in the pan these two here, this one and this one. But on the eye, it, it really blends really nice. Much better than I had anticipated, which is exciting. All right, I'm gonna pick up the color Glucose for underneath the brow. And then I'm gonna pick up the color Sugar Cane And kind of blend that together. I am missing a bit of that intravenous when I blended it and then with adding the donor it kind of got lost so we're gonna we're gonna pick that back up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that little flat fluffy brush I had earlier pick up some of that intravenous and I'm sitting my elbow on the table to give me a little bit of support and I'm just kind of going right above where I put donor because I want to darken that up just a smidge and smidge is another technical term 
Okay, I do like how poppin', <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I do like how poppin' this uh, bronzy color is donor. So, you know it's gonna happen. That's gonna be just a bottom color. And I'm gonna drag it a little bit further down. It's really pretty. Okay, what I'm, I'm still trying to debate in my head is do I go with a light inner waterline or do I go a dark inner waterline? And I'm not finished underneath. That's why I'm debating right now. Debating. Okay, so I think, you know, I'm just in a dark mood. <laughs> so I'm going to use the pencil side of the tardiest pencil slash, uh-oh, did I use it all? No! I won't use it. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right, I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs and Earthquake. But once I got the Marc Jacobs, I'm like, eh. There are no other eye pencils in my world. But it doesn't stop me from trying other stuff. Because if you guys, as you guys know, the Marc Jacobs ones are not inexpensive. So my hope is one day I find one that is as good as Marc. Just not as expensive. I know, I'm a tightwad sometimes. Which I will say... I loved the Remarkable foundation from Marc Jacobs, but this one that I have on right now, mm -hmm, it's called LA Girl Pro. Way less expensive than Marc Jacobs. And dude, it works just as well. I now have kicked back some other ones and I had just bought the, um, I, I remember that I really liked the foundation from Makeup Forever. So I bought it. And I, I do love it. Don't get me wrong. But this LA Girl has caught me. Like, whoosh, caught my eye. Whoosh, whoosh, and I just keep going back. So, anyways. And I haven't done my morning shout out to Miss Sis. Hello, Miss Sis. Sorry I haven't done a shout out to you yet, Miss Sis is probably one of my biggest fans ever and so since she is my biggest fan ever i'd like to make sure i give her a shout out so now you kind of see why i drug it this donor color down a little bit because i am going back in and kind of penciling or not penciling taking a really fine angled brush into my lash line where the Marc Jacobs kind of meets the lashes. And I'm just using the intravenous to bring that down a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with a Marc Jacobs pencil and we're gonna use that as ooh, the top eyeliner with my handy dandy trusty. I feel like an inspector. Inspector Clusive. <laughs> You know life is good when you make yourself laugh. So now I'm going to put on the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip and French Toast. Which is might be incredibly too light. So we're gonna use the color What the Puff. To go around it. And then, I don't know, why not? I've got a spot of gold. It will layer right into that. That way it kind of mirrors the eye look. Now 
I know I'm bouncing all over the place. We will go in with the double decker lashes. You know, my video yesterday, all over the place, all over the place. Today, all over the place, all over the place. Or maybe I do it more often than I give myself credit for. Okay, so now we have on the eyelashes and we are gonna finish up this look. So I'm going to my handy dandy Makeup Geek palette because it's the bomb. This is the Porcelain Princess. So if you want to look like a porcelain princess, and you must say it that way, I've got Shih Tzus that I call them the princesses. And they actually love being in this room. They are so cute. So I will go ahead and use a bit of the peach and the pink. So I've got a lot of like the peaches and the pinks that, or pinky tones, it seems like going on right now. And I am going to go ahead, I'm leaning my head back to see how far crazy I got. And no one should be surprised that I got a little crazy. I have not powdered my face, so that helps. That way you don't get like a globby hot mess. Which I just went over my contour, not smart. I should have waited to do finish my eyes, but because I'm all over the place, this is what happens when you're all over the place. Now, because I do have some golds, bronzes, golds, bronzes, whatever, some metallics, I am, I think I want this one. All right, so what do you think? Look two, using the Jeffree Star palette. So as always, it's time for hair. Time for hair. Hope you guys Thank have a Thank you so great much one. for watching the second look using the Blood Sugar palette from Jeffree Star. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.